When running an experiment, there might be specific treatment comparisons that you are particularly keen to assess. These comparisons can be incorporated into an analysis of variance using contrasts. Let's import some data so we can work through an example in GenStat. From the menu, select File, Open Example Data Sets. Type Canola to highlight the file canola.gsh, then click Open Data. The spreadsheet contains the results of an experiment on canola with two treatment factors. Factor N represents three levels of nitrogen, and factor S represents four levels of sulfur. The experiment was laid out in randomized blocks with three replicates. We're going to analyze the canola data set using a two-way analysis of variance in randomized blocks. From the menu, select Stats, Analysis of Variance, General. In the Design drop-down list, select Two-way ANOVA in randomized blocks. Double-click Yield to move this response variable into the Y variate field. The cursor moves automatically to the Treatment 1 field, and this in turn updates available data, which is now showing us all the available factors. Double-click N to move it into the Treatment 1 field. Double-click S to move it into the Treatment 2 field. Lastly, move Block to the Blocks field. Now click Run. If you can't see the analysis results, click the Window tab, then double-click Output. The analysis of variance table displays the F statistics and P values for nitrogen, sulfur, and interaction. The output also shows the tables of means and standard errors of differences. Sometimes you'll want to assess specific comparisons between treatment means. For example, you may have had an initial suspicion that there would be little difference in the mean yield between the 180 and 230 levels of nitrogen but a large difference between those with the zero level of nitrogen. You can test the significance of these individual comparisons using contrasts. To see this, let's fit a single mean for the 180 and 230 levels of nitrogen and assess the contrast between this value and the mean for level zero. You can define contrasts like this using the ANOVA Contrasts menu. If the analysis menu isn't displayed on the left, click the window tab, then double click the analysis of variance menu to bring it to the front. Click Contrasts. To assess comparisons between the levels of nitrogen, double click N to move it to the Contrast Factor field and set the contrast type to Comparisons. The Contrast Matrix field is used to name the matrix that defines the contrast will keep the default name. Leave the number of contrasts field set to 1, as we only want to fit a single contrast. Now click OK. This opens a GenStat spreadsheet where we can define our contrast by typing into the cells. We can also rename the contrast. Click the Analysis of Variance menu to make it active. The Treatment 1 field now contains a function of N, defining our contrast. Before we run the ANOVA, we'll select what output to display. Click Options. We'll display the ANOVA table, p-values and estimated contrasts, and deselect everything else. Click OK, then click Run. In the ANOVA table output, the main effect for N reveals a statistically significant overall contrast between the levels 0 versus 180 and 230, as indicated by the degrees of freedom, sum of squares, and p-value. There is also an extra line under NS interaction, which represents the interaction between the contrast and the sulfur factor. This also shows a statistically significant difference. 
The table of contrasts shows the estimate of the overall contrast is 0.754, with a standard error of 0.0749. Note that the overall value of the contrast varies, depending on the level of S. For example, at level 0 of S, the estimated contrast is 0.754 minus 0.35. The results suggest that there are significant differences between treatment means, particularly in the comparisons between the levels of nitrogen and the interaction between nitrogen and sulphur. These findings underscore the importance of considering contrasts in understanding the effects of specific treatments in your experiments.